y'all tell me that there was a new wave band in the 80s that had two out of three members that were black? Oh, you guys probably didn't know either? <laughs> I got you. Well, now that I know, I'm gonna let you know out there. Hi, YouTube Land. It is me, Justin King, again with another video. While I was listening to music as I do all the time when I go to anywhere that's inside of my car, I got notified by Google Play of this band called Funboy 3. And I'm going to be quite honest here. The music didn't stand out extremely to me because it was a cover of the song Our Lips Are Sealed. And I don't really like any version of the song, the original or the many people that cover it. But what stood out to me was when I took the time to look at the cover image that popped up, I saw two black men and one white man. And I was like, what the what? What the what? And afterwards, I decided to look them up and lo and behold here is another person who is in the original time that new wave goth music in general was created and they were out there they were in the hustle they were actually creating the work and the foundations of what this genre is by being one of the OG people that decide to go out there and put themselves out there and nobody in the golf community or that likes New Wave um, ever talked about them. I'm calling suspect on y'all. So here I am. Another talk about black people in the goth music world. So who are Funboy 3? They were because according to Google, unless things have changed, they are no longer together and they were one of the many bands in the 80s that were a quick stunt where it was a few years and then they were done. Um, so were a English new wave band active from 1981 to 1983. Since most of the original goth bands started in the late 70s, talking 76, 78, 79, and 80. The fact that they started in 81, to me, makes them pretty OG. I don't know about you, but to me, that's pretty damn OG. And so the people in the band were Terry Hall, Neville Staple, and Linval Golding. And apparently they were actually starting their roots in ska, which if you all don't know, since this isn't a punk channel, ska is an offset of the punk scene. And they were with one other person, they were together with a group called The Specials, but they wanted to do something more grand and include more earthy tones of music, including a cellist and trombone, so they went more to the new wave side of things. Fortunately, it looks like when they did their first tour in the U.S., they split afterwards, which again, back in the day, was not uncommon. So they only have two albums, one in 82, one on 83. And they also have a few compilation albums that came in afterwards. And they have... They have like 10 or 12 singles. So they got a lot outside of there. So who were the black people in the band? Since that is the focus of my channel and highlighting these people. Well, the first person is Neville Staple. So, he is a Jamaican-born English singer. He, while he broke up with the New Wave band, he has been, according to Wiki, active in the music and musician scene from 1977 to present. And 
so he has been in the ska, something called Two Tone, which I don't know, and New Wave Scene. Looks like he also created a biography of himself called Original Rude Boy, which was published by RM Press, and it covers his involvement with the sound system scene in the 70s and also his childhood in Jamaica. And it discusses his experience in the new wave band Fun Boy 3 as well. So this is someone who has a lot of experience, history in the music scene. And I personally think of that it's a shame that people don't discuss him in the goth community or the new wave synther side of the goth community as much because there are bands out there that people can rattle off that only have an album or two albums so the fact that the band didn't have a lot of music out there to me doesn't mean that it needed to be erased and then the other person who was black and a part of this group as I mentioned, was Linval Golding, and it looks like he is also a Jamaican-born British musician. Well, he didn't stick with Fun Boy 3 because they all disbanded. It looks like he had recently began touring with a band called The Beat, which is a reunion version of another second wave Ska Band. So those were the two people that were part of the band Fun Boy 3. I will also, like I do, give a little share of their sound so you know what their band was like. So let's get into their song called The Lunatics Have Taken Over the Asylum, which can be, depending on your perception of how things are nowadays, pretty relevant even though this was made over 30 years ago. the rest of them just because there were black people in there didn't make it any less gothic the vibes are definitely mixed with our culture when you hear the rattling at the percussion and you hear the little bit of rhythmic with the beat it reminds me a little bit of um, their Jamaican heritage as well which is awesome they bring their culture into the dark and the disturbed so, again, the other thing that I love about this is seeing the photos. It gives us that visual representation of ways to be goth that you may not have thought to do before. And I love how one of them has the his natural hair kind of splayed out because it does mimic the fluffed out and spiked out styles that white people did back then but our hair naturally goes like that so we need less hairspray to make it and no back coming <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed learning about this band if you haven't heard of them which i'm gonna assume most of you guys haven't if you knew about this band beforehand please put in the comment section below because you're freaking amazing if you know who these people are and out there to push out more black people that were slash maybe are still in the gothic music scene and if not like these people they're still in the alternative scene in general so that's still pretty darn cool this is me Justin king and i will talk to you guys later bye youtube land <laughs>